Hi, I'm Pastor Jack Davidson from Redeemer Lutheran Church in Lancaster, Ohio. Welcome to our abbreviated worship service for Sunday, May 16th, 2021. We begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our text for today is from John chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. It's called Jesus' High Priestly Prayer. Jesus prays, and I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I'm coming to you, Holy Father. Keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I've guarded them, and not one of them has been lost, except the son of destruction, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. But now I'm coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves." I have given them your word. The world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world, and for their sake I consecrate myself that they also may be sanctified in truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of Jesus, dear friends, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Last week, I went on a trip to Cleveland to help my son, Drew, move into his new apartment. As I was away, my wife, Luann, was going to be away, too, on Mother's Day weekend. She went down to North Carolina to visit our youngest son, Mark, and his wife, Abby. As you can imagine, when you make a trip such as this, and you have dogs that need to be watched and fed and cared for in, the absence, in your absence, you're going to leave some detailed instructions as to what needs to happen and what has to happen with the person who will be left behind to care for the animals. You know that whenever you leave the house and you ask someone to watch the place or the contents in your house, you often are going to have to leave detailed instructions as to what needs to be done and when to do it. Jesus, in our text today, prays this prayer. It's called the High Priestly Prayer. This is the night when he was betrayed. He's in the Garden of Gethsemane. And we've been given this wonderful prayer, this wonderful opportunity to eavesdrop on Jesus, so to speak, to listen in by the power of the Holy Spirit to the contents of Jesus' prayer. And it is as if Jesus is leaving us detailed instructions before he ascends into heaven. That's the content of Jesus' prayer, that Jesus prays for you. This is quite stunning when you think about it. Jesus could have prayed about any number of things on the night when he was betrayed. And certainly we have in recorded in the other Gospels how he prayed to the Father that if it would be his will to take this cup away from him that he's about ready to drink, that he was going to suffer and die for the sins of the world. But he said, not my will, but your will be done, Heavenly Father. Jesus understood that God's plan of salvation meant that he was going to be betrayed soon in the Garden of Gethsemane by Judas, and that he would be tried by a pious he would be uh, head. He would be found uh, not guilty, really, of any crimes that he committed. But he would be treated as a criminal, and then head to Golgotha to be crucified for the sins of the world. Yeah, Jesus could have prayed for any number of things, and yet here in this particular petition, in the high priestly prayer, Jesus prays for you. He knows that his time on earth is short. So he prays for his disciples, those whom he chose, that they would be kept in the faith and remain in the faith, and they would be strengthened by the Father for the task that would lay ahead after Pentecost when they were to go out into the world and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. And Jesus takes time to pray for you and me. He prays for us in this high priestly prayer. What does he pray for? He prays for our protection. He knows the evil one, Satan, lurks like a roaring lion who prowls from around the earth, seeking those whom he could devour. 
He knows that in the world uh, there are people and the evil one who influences and tempts and controls these people to hate God and to hate Jesus and to hate the children of God. And so Jesus prays for his followers, prays for you and me. Even before uh, the time we were born, Jesus prays for us. He intercedes for us that we would not be led astray and that we would remain faithful to Jesus. Jesus doesn't pray that we would be removed from the world, far from it. He prays that we would be kept in the faith, be firm in the faith. And that's why Jesus prays, I don't ask that you take them out of the world, but that you will keep them from the evil one. What Jesus does here is he intercedes for us. He advocates for us, much like a person who has a relative or a friend who is sick and is in need of special care, well, that person will advocate or step in or speak to the authorities to make certain that care is provided, that the person who needs the care is provided for. Well, in the same way, Jesus intercedes for us. He is our advocate. He steps in on our behalf and prays and intercedes and asks the Father to bless us because he is the sacrificial lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And God answers the prayer of Jesus. That's why he sent Jesus to be our Savior. To he who knew no sin became sin for us, that we might be the children of God. Jesus is God's sacrificial representative, the Lamb of God, crucified on the cross to take away the sins of the world. And because of Jesus' death and resurrection, the Father not only listens to the Son, but the Father intercedes on behalf of us in the name of the Son because he loves us. To that end, God the Father sends his Holy Spirit not only to lead us into the faith, but keep us in the faith and to comfort us in our times of trial. That's why Jesus says, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, Jesus says. I will come to you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things to bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So Jesus sends to us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit not only has been given to you for faith, it's his job to keep you in the faith. Jesus prays that you and I would be kept in God's truth, that we'd be sanctified, made holy by God's word, because his word is truth. Faith in Jesus and a stronger faith in Jesus comes to us by the hearing of God's word. And the Holy Spirit use, uses God's word, a living and active word, to accomplish what God sets out to do, namely to save us from our sins. You see, Jesus not only prayed for you in the Garden of Gethsemane, he continues to pray for you. He continues to advocate for you. Just listen to what John says in his first epistle. We have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. Jesus' prayer is an ongoing prayer, a prayer that you might become holy, set apart by God and for God, for his purposes, a prayer that you would not only be God's child, but remain God's child forever. And so Jesus speaks to you today, in and through his word, to create in your heart and life a stronger faith in Jesus, to develop a stronger relationship with you uh, in the name of Jesus, He's at work today to forgive you your sins, and he continues to build his church so that the gates of hell will not prevail against it. You know, every year in the late uh, summer, early fall, when children are enrolled in our preschool, the new students come through our doors, and the real new students, the newbies who have never been away from home, well, uh, they have a difficult time adjusting. And what usually happens is that the child will come into our preschool and usually will cry, if not for a day, for a couple of days, because they're separated from mom and separated from their dad. 
they need to adjust. And when they do adjust, they realize that they're not necessarily separated from mom and dad. They're not left all alone, but now they're in the presence of someone who teaches them. They're in the presence of a loving teacher and fellow classmates. They're not left alone. They're left in good hands. And so when Jesus ascended into heaven, he sent his Holy Spirit into our hearts and into our lives. And Jesus has not left us alone, just as he promised. He will not leave us as orphans. That means that he will never leave us all alone. He's with us now. He's with us forever. So we don't need to be afraid of what the future holds, because Jesus holds all things in his hands. And his prayer continues to strengthen us so that we might live as his children with the peace that surpasses all understanding. May that peace that surpasses all human understanding keep your hearts and minds through faith in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the blessing of the Lord our God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Heavenly Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit being abide with you now and always. Amen been watching an abbreviated worship service for Sunday, May 16th, 2021, coming to you from Redeemer Lutheran Church in Lancaster, Ohio. If you have no church home, we invite you to join us and make Redeemer your church home. We worship every Sunday morning at 1015, where a different message will be proclaimed. If you'd like to enroll your child in our preschool program, our early childhood program, or summer daycare, you can do so by calling 740-653-9727. 740-653-9727. And if you would like to support this ministry with your tithes and offerings, please send your tithes and offerings to Redeemer Lutheran Church, 1400 Concordia Drive, Lancaster, Ohio, 43130. Until next week, may the Lord bless you and keep you.